doesn't seem like there's a lot of feelings when you left, obviously. Was, was this the, the uh, I'm definitely looking forward to playing, but I wouldn't say it's like it was circle or anything because, like, like you said, I uh, got a lot of good relationships there. I built, you know, a lot of uh, friendships there. Uh, so it's kind of like that competition is 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 what you know feels uh, players like me. So I'm excited uh, to play them. You know. Who's the guy in the practice field that you went against? That was the toughest competition every day that you might see this week. Mm, probably Tyson, uh, young guy, really good, improving, uh, got good uh, ball skills, um, pretty good with being aggressive, things like that. Uh, you know, I would say Shaq, but I don't. I'm not sure if he's playing. Uh, but you know, we went against him a lot. Uh, you know, went against Cisco, went against Rashawn. Most most of the guys, the linebackers are pretty new. Uh, I didn't really go against those guys as much. So I'm curious, when you, you signed here, you talked about one of the things you really loved about Detroit was just seeing how feisty and competitive they were every single game. Seems like maybe the Jaguars have kind of turned a corner with mm -hmm. that as well. Can you can you just see a different mindset and attitude from that franchise when looking at the tape this year? Oh, for sure. Uh, I think hat goes off to you know their head coach. I think he's done a pretty good job with them. Um, starting to build a foundation, which is uh, what was really, truly needed there, uh, culture. And so hats off to him. Uh, hats off to Trevor as well. I feel like he's definitely been taking some uh, big leaps. So, I, you know, I have a great relationship with him, so I'm proud of him. And, you know, the receivers has been playing pretty well, too, as far as offense, you know, making plays, ETN, pretty explosive. Uh, I'm really good friends with him as well. Marv, uh, Ag, all those guys. So uh, I think they definitely are much better than you know last year, and they trending in the right direction. Was this game circled on the calendar and seriously? Though, was, you saw it come out. Like, you want to come out and have a good one first game? Um, I would probably say initially, but that would be like you know March 16th, right after you know free agency. You know, so much, to, <laughs> um, so much that happened since then. You know that. Uh, at this point, when I, I've missed six games, so at this point, every game is circled on the calendar. You know, I just want to get out there and, you know, show show myself what I can do. Uh, it's, it's, I'm happy that, I, you know, I was able to get back in time to play in this game. Uh, but, yeah, for me, really, every game is the same. You know, it's the season coming to an end. Uh, we have a chance to push further, you know, we'll see how that goes. But uh, I just want to, you know, go out there and, and showcase my talent and help this team win because we can. Did you have, how has this season been for you? Frustrations that you've had? I was, I was, you know, we talked a couple of weeks ago, not something you expected. Oh, it, it, was, it was tough, you know. Week one through three, you know, getting accustomed to it. I had kind of just started, you know, getting, like, finding my place and my footing uh, and then going out for such a long time and, you know, being up here every day, doing the same routine, you know, seeing my teammates go out there and practice, being new here was tough just because, you know, I wanted to prove to these guys, you know, what I can do. And they've seen it on the practice field and in the few games that I have played with the opportunities. You know, they've seen it. But, like, me personally, I feel like I owe these guys a lot. And so those six weeks, seven weeks, uh, six games was really, really tough. But, you know, these guys was always, you know, good, good brothers for me. And, you know, when I was able to come back, you know, they welcomed me in quickly. Uh, and that's that's that was huge for me. So, do you feel this team is turning the corner? Uh, for sure. Uh, I mean, it's it's night and day from uh, just as far as at this point last season. You know, if you look at it, and, you know, I feel like this team is very much on their way. Uh, I think it's one thing I like about this team is it's 
bigger than one person. You know, it's, it's never circling one guy and asking him to do it all uh, for the team, which is great. You know, you come in, you do your part, and, you know, you make plays and you try to win games, and that's what everybody in here uh, aiming to do. Good brother. You, you took J-Mo under your wing pretty early during training camp. As he's kind of inching closer here to, to making his debut, how excited are you? <laughs> I think we're all excited, man. Uh, you know, he, the excitement that you guys feel, that we feel, is real. You know, I definitely believe that, you know, he's a superstar. Uh, so anything I can do to help uh, a guy like that, you know, I'm here. And he knows that. He knows that with all the receivers in the room. Uh, so it, he's, you know, getting back into practicing, which is a huge step. Trust me, I understand. So as soon as he's on the field, that's going to be great for all of us. Like, we all benefit from that. Uh, this team benefits from that. In the future, you know, uh, he got a bright future. And, you know, hopefully, you know, it's all here. So just want to uh, put him in the best uh, position to succeed. You said superstar. That's pretty high praise. What, what, what have you seen that makes you say that? Same things you guys seen, you know. Uh, he's fast. Uh, and he just, one thing about him that a lot of guys don't have is the confidence, uh, just the confidence in himself to go out there and make the play. And if you have that, that's half the battle. You know, if you believe you can make the play, you will make the play. And I feel like he has that. And, you know, once we can get him acclimated into the system, you know, now you got – Guys like Saint, him, Leaf, uh, J. Ray, me. I mean, the sky's the limit. You know, you're really building a foundation at receiver. You know, so I feel like a lot of times the team go as far as you know our room go, even in the run game, like blocking and springing those guys. So it's going to be good adding him to the uh, puzzle. One more question about Jacksonville. Would you say that you know signing here in Detroit did that rejuvenate your career a little bit? Did you feel like you needed a fresh start? But how much did the sign in here rejuvenate you? Uh, I think it was big. You know, I, I needed a uh, change of scenery. Uh, coming up here, just bringing my family up here, meeting new people. Uh, I've learned a lot in this however many months I've been here. Uh, great people, you know, so I think obviously, like I said, I, it was tough with the missing games and being out so long, but uh, I definitely was able to get my swag definitely in training camp in those first few games, and I'm feeling I'm starting to feel better and better now. So uh, I think just the sky's the limit, and a lot of times in these tough times, you you, uh, you forget to be present and just still being able to be in this locker room. Being 26, you know, got so much time ahead of me just trying to stay focused and staying here has been big for me. What do you want to show? A couple more guys. I'm sorry. What do you want to show? What do you want to put on these last six weeks? Because you mentioned, you know, missing the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feeling like you're, you know, uh, For me is, you know, answering a number, you know, answering the call, my number is called, whatever they may be, and consistently putting on film, uh, getting open. Uh, making plays where, whenever they come, you know, that's the biggest thing for me. And showing, you know, being out there, like that's the top thing for me is being on the field with these guys, no matter the outcome, no matter the stats, no matter anything, because I missed my first time missing the whole season last year. And then missing those six games kind of felt the same way like it was felt identical so I'm just happy to be able to run around and play ball like everything else comes second uh, but as long as I'm out there anything can happen but if I'm not out there you know I, I can't do anything so just being out there and playing ball oh uh you know, I told him I need that jersey for sure. I got a, <laughs> I got a pretty good uh, collection going. Um, but you know, uh, he knows. I wish the best for him and his family. Uh, great guy. Uh, he went through a lot year one, and you know, perseverance, and he's showing it. So, I want him to come out here and play great, but not too great because we got a job to do. <laughs> Did you 
watch that game last week. I did. The plays that he made at the end. What did you think of just like, – where have you seen the growth? Because we haven't obviously seen it. Uh, con uh, consistent, consistency, being able to go through his reads, uh, being confident, sitting in the pocket, uh, you know, and also having confidence in his receivers. Uh, they made some great plays, and good friend Marvin Jones made some huge plays at the end. So just being able to trust those guys and those guys, uh, you know, pull together for them, it's been good to watch.